Hi everyone, we have officially started IVF this cycle. It is so exciting. So I'm um, day three today and I started stims or well injections last night. So it was my first lot and it was really, it was really scary. Uh, I didn't know what I was doing and I mucked up a little bit. So I do have footage of that. It hopefully came out okay, it's probably a bit muddled. I had to read the Menopure booklet so many times. Um, I got a bit mixed up with the needle, but I'll pop it in here. I was like, wait, what are these? Syringes look good. Okay, now that's taken. Got my sharp spin. Okay. Now, I'm getting really nervous. Okay, I'll get the pure bomb, which I got out of the fridge. Okay, so here's the pure bomb. My dosage is 150, so you take the cap off. I'm shaking. Look at it to make sure it's all okay. Now, silver side down, I think. Um, they didn't say for, they didn't give me any swabby things. They said I didn't need to do that. So, I'm gonna tighten it so that yellow line. Oh, okay. That's meant to line up with that. So. Yep, that's good. You don't want to do it too tight. I need the needle. Okay, this is not going to plan, but that's okay. I must have the needles in here. Ready. Okay, now the hard one. Okay, now we want this, this bit, to line up with the blue dot. Okay, so we don't do that yet. So we take the... Oh, it'll get easier once we know what we're doing. At the moment I'm just really, really lost. Okay, so that. So red one. Then make sure not to touch anything. Screw it on. Okay, leave the cover on. Okay, we're getting there. Give this a tap to 
get all of that liquid down. See, so it's all down there. None left up here. Lucky that I've got these instructions. There's also an app actually that I downloaded, but I feel it's easier to have written instructions. So, no liquid. Now, oh. so, blue dot, hard surface, align that. And it's done. Okay. Okay. And you just give that a flick into the shaft bin. Don't put that in the shaft bin. This is, you'll reuse this. Okay. So we've got our liquid. That is off. Insert this into this. And you use your th thumb to. Draw up the liquid. Okay. Let's, and then you've got to turn it up here and bring it up. And you just put this in the sharp spin. Right. So bring any air bubbles up to the top. I mean, okay. So they say set that aside. Don't let the needle touch any surfaces. Then you get your little powder mix. Oh, okay. So we've got the cap off. Okay. So we have that. And then we have this. And oh god. Oh, okay. The liquid's already gone down itself. Okay, so Give it a swirl. <laughs> it's a colour look. I'm scared. Okay, you have now mixed one vial of Minipure. Oh gosh, a lot's going on. Okay, so now take this out, place your solution here, put the red cap back on, and you can discard this red one into your sharpspin. Right! <laughs> We're getting there. Okay, so now the yellow one. Sorry if you can hear my heat pump going, it's rather cold. Right, don't let try not touch anything. Put the yellow cap on. Right. Oh Jesus, it's getting close now. So now that's a way thinner needle. Thank God. And then do I put that? <gasps> oh no, I've mucked up. Whoops. I was meant to draw the liquid back up with the red one. Oh no. Oh no. That's okay. That's okay. Hopefully they've given me extra red one. That's okay. Oh, I missed the step when I was reading it earlier too. Just make sure that doesn't touch anything. Oh no. When I was reading the steps I was like, oh yes. Can't forget that step. So we just have another spare one, that's okay. First night, so just learning. Okay, <laughs> use the red needle. That's all right. We're just having a time. Okay. We're getting a lot of air bubbles. So, I'll get those out after, that's okay. Oh. Oh. Now just, this is hard. Now we put this back on, put the liquid in there, take that off, put the shot in again. Take the yellow one now. Okay, we're onto something. Right. I do remember they said they, it's okay if there's a small, bubble in there um, but obviously I've got a huge one so we just want to I'm just gonna put this 
back on till I'm ready. Oh god. So we've got the mina pure. Okay, we've got the Puragon, which now I'm gonna dial up. My dose is 150. Right. Don't know if you can see that. Don't know. <laughs> okay, so it's on 150. Okay, so I've been icing with a, I've got a ice pack. Hopefully I've done all of this correctly. Um, oh, I'm shaky, I can't stand the needle up. Take off the needle. Thing. Okay. Take the ice pack off. Okay. The needles in. Okay. Can you hold it for ten seconds? Okay. Okay. First injection done. Honestly, didn't even feel it with the ice. So that was, thank you to the fertility group that I'm a part of. You just take that out. And then, I think I keep it in the pen. I put that on. And now I just keep the pen in the fridge, I think. Hopefully. Okay. Now mina pure. Now, I've heard this one's more stingy, so this is the one that I'm scared of, but hopefully I'm still numb. Oh, okay, there we go, there we go, we're okay, we're okay. I'm nervous, I'm nervous, that one wasn't too bad. Okay. Now they say to try, I'm going to try to do it in the same spot. <laughs> okay, there's that one. I'm so scared. Okay. Okay. Now hold off for ten. Okay. They say you can mass massage the area. Would you be able to get me a tissue, please? Thanks. Okay, so that one, like the liquid resisted a little bit more, if that makes any sense. Um, did feel it slightly, but honestly, icing it, so good. And that's the first night of injections done. Ah, many more to go. So, <laughs> as you can see, <laughs> I, I edited it down as well because honestly it was like half an hour long that footage of me each step of the way looking at the Mina Pure booklet. The, the Puragon was fine, it did sting a little bit but nothing too bad. <laughs> There's Ollie making an appearance, there's always one of them in one of these videos. What are you doing? He's off outside. So yeah the Puragon stung a little bit and so did the Mina Pure just going in. And I felt like, I know it's weird because it was only one dose, but as soon as it like went in, it was like just this cramping along like my pelvic slash lower abdominal area. It didn't last very long, but I feel like it was just my body saying, oh, there's something new going on. Like I was really nervous for the injections, but yeah, they were fine. I iced, as you can see. It's so I'm going to be writing down each day in here, you know, if I have any symptoms or anything. So like I said, I'm day three today and it's Monday. So I started last night on day two. Henry and I both, 
both also took uh, those antibiotics that we were given. It was just two pills, one dose after dinner. So we took those. And sorry, I'm going a bit backwards. So, so on cycle day one, I stopped all of my supplements, uh, medications and stuff, everything apart from folic acid and metformin on the recommendation from our fertility specialist. I really did want to keep taking the Mito Q10, the egg quality, um, some of the other ones, but they said they didn't know how they would interact with the stims, so they said just to stop them. So I've got day two cycle, first and mucked up needle needles for menopure. I don't know what it was. I had read through the instructions beforehand and also there is, there's an app you can download, which I had a quick look, but I like written instructions. So I had a look and I missed the step and then I missed it again when I was actually doing it. You have to draw up the liquid once you've mixed it with the same, that red needle and then change it to the thinner needle. So I was getting really worried that I had to inject myself with that big needle. So I just said, ice for 20 minutes, no hurt. I don't think I need to ice for that long. I think that was too long. I, it was numb. Slight cramp. So I'm going to keep um, writing down how I'm feeling. I feel like they'll just be really interesting to look back on. So I just wanted to show some other things that I got just to signify our journey because this is such an exciting time for us. <gasps> oh, I say it every video, but we never thought we'd be here. So... Oh, it's just so amazing. There's a little story behind these. So these are some crystals. And I get these from Crystals and Beyond New Zealand. She has a Facebook page. Her name is Natalie. She's really, really lovely. She also has a trade me. Um, but she does do like, she personalizes things for you. So when my two sisters were pregnant, I got them one of these. And it has a really long cord. So you can like, you can hang it. Or you can wear it. I'm going to probably wear mine on those important days. And the three stones that I got for my sisters were personalized to each what they were going through. So I was so excited to get one for our journey. And then hopefully I'll be able to get one for when we are pregnant. Uh, but my one has a rose quartz. So that's for love and nurturing. And then I have a tiger's eye for inner strength. And then a smoky quartz, which is for fertility, and I can never say this, sacral chakra. I think that's how you say it. And it comes in this cute organza bag, and she also added, ah, now I'm dropping it, this little vial. It has like amethyst, which is my, oh, amethyst is my favourite. Pretty sure I can see some moonstone, which I know is good for fertility too. And she, it came packaged all cute, folded up with some butterfly stickers on it. So that was really, really cute. It meant a lot. So I'm going to link her down below in case, you know, you've been looking for something like this or a gift for someone else. Really, really special. So another thing that we got was some plants. Now let me explain because I know this seems really, really random. So I love plants. I love specifically like succulents or easy to grow things because I think my green thumb's getting better, but I used to just kill plants a lot. I think I'd overwater them, over nurture is what I'm going to say. So I really just wanted a plant that like signified the start of our journey. Sorry, I had to put you on charge. So I really wanted something that I could look on and see that that's growing while I grow some follicles. I don't know, it may seem silly, but it, it just made me, it made me feel better. Plus it was an excuse to get some plants. So Henry took me to Odorings and I really love Odorings. They have so many good plants. And I'll show you the first one. This is the first one I picked. I was only meant to get one, but you know, I could have, I could have bought more, but I, I stopped it too. So this one is a Chris, Crassula species. Not quite sure how to do that. So it's really, really cute. And it's already got some little babies growing on it. So this one was $5.99 from Odorings. Let me put that back in. Now the other one. <laughs> this one is so extra, honestly. And these are all going to flower. It's going to be so cute. 
this one's a bit harder to get out now i'm not sure what this one is so if you do know please comment below because it just says succulent assorted succulent and this is lynn looks like this and it's actually grown so much already which i'm so surprised because we're still in august like we're coming up to spring and september but not yet so this one was 6.99 <laughs> and i love it <laughs> this is a little cutie so this is a little cutting of a string of pearl when i first started liking plants my sister had a string of pearls on her coffee table and i fell in love just something about how they look like little peas it was so she got me a cutting and she gave it to me the other day and i just thought it was cute there so these pots because i think this was such a good idea so there's actually three of these silk and it comes with a tray and this was only five dollars from kmart i'm in new zealand and i feel like that was a really good bargain so i was quite happy with that i might actually maybe get some <laughs> also my sister who is so cute she got us a little she got us a little gift she knows all about like things to do uh is after egg collection to do with transfer and stuff to like help so like she she got me pomegranate juice and this is the one that has like no added sugar so that's so good and then she got these are one of my favorite keto slash low carb cookies the chop chip ones are the best flavor then this is adorable honestly this is so adorable a pomegranate face mask she's like you know i know you, it might not do much but it'll make you feel good and also you know it might absorb through the skin i thought just how thought honestly how thoughtful and how lucky are we and she knows about the pineapple and she got some of these pineapple gently baked nibbles so i'll be excited to get into those i've actually like already cut up um pineapple was like two dollars at countdown like a week or so ago so i cut some up and put like chopped it up and you know took away all the skin and stuff and put it in the freezer so because i mean they, they're probably going to come back down but i thought two dollars so i grabbed two of those and did that just had to go get this so i could show you so i normally eat keto slash low carb i'm going to call it low carb because some people get up in arms about keto and it works well for my body i lost quite a bit of weight on it i didn't really exercise maybe some walks here and there but i kind of fell off the wagon we had um you know lockdown due to covid um and back in march like april i think may was when we were starting to come into level three so i kind of went off the bandwagon i tried to stay on it and i talked to our fertility specialists about being keto low carb because i find that i lose my cycles on it like it takes my body so long to ovulate and i was concerned that maybe that would affect the the medication and stuff and she said just suggest following a well-balanced diet so i've been trying to still stay quite low carb but i, I have added in kumra which my, <laughs> my sister got me into it I cannot believe I've gone 30 years not liking Kumara. Like, what is wrong with me? I just, yummy. And I've also started adding, like, banana into, into, like, my cereal and stuff. But it is an adjustment. So I use this when I'm going through, like, keto flu and stuff. So it's electrolytes. And it is, like, sugar-free has six electrolytes traces and minerals non-gmo gluten-free plant-based keto slash paleo and what it is so it's a powder now you just take that scoop and put it into some water i've actually got a drink bottle here just any kind of drink bottle so i, do, I also like this powerade no sugar mango really good i just like to keep up my electrolytes like i'm not a sometimes i go through these phases where i love water but when it's a bit harder to like you just don't feel like it i find this stuff really helps so, be, so i'm going to be keeping on top of this and just making sure my body is well hydrated they do come in other flavors i've tried the orange which mm, not so great grape uh, i won't i don't think i'll buy again unless my favorite is out of stock like it's okay but not my favorite my favorite is the raspberry i wish that i wish they did like a watermelon one in this or like a 
I don't know, something, some other kind of flavor. I know they also do sticks. I get this off of iHerb. I'll link it down below. And yeah, I quite like that. And another thing that I've got, so uh, we have our chemist warehouse and also our bargain chemist here in New Zealand. And they're quite cheap pharmacies. Like chemist warehouses only just opened this year. Actually, it was must have been after lockdown. So maybe June, I think it opened. But anyway, I went to both of them trying to find like pregnancy tests and stuff because uh, I didn't actually have any. Which normally I have a bit of a stock and I know that they had a lot of specials so this one is actually a seven pack I like first response I feel like they're, they're probably the best ones I mean I've never had a positive so this is the one that everybody suggests and I thought it was quite a good deal I can't quite remember what the price was I have a feeling it was $20 I will definitely um put something over here to say how much this was and I also got two of these digital because I think if we do are successful hopefully and we get a positive on this oh I would love to have this one and it tells you how many weeks like we already know but just seeing that word pregnant pop up after all this time it'll be really really special so this actually came in the two pack and I will put the price here as well because I can't cry. I think this one might have been $24, which is so good because normally just for one in the supermarkets, it would be about $24. So I thought that was pretty good. And I just got those now, so then I've got them there and I don't know, it was nice to go out and buy them and, you know, think of what could be. So, oh, I'm actually really excited to do my injections tonight. <laughs> Is that really, really weird? I don't know. I could really feel like it just becoming like a routine. So I do them between like 9, 10 and 9, 20, both at the same time. And on day six, which will be Thursday, I'll be starting my, the third injection. So I'll be doing three injections a night. Uh, it's called, I always get this wrong. I'm going to real try to say it properly. Orgalutran. Orgalutran. Galutran. It is one of those. And I thought it was the Menopure that had the thicker needle, but it's actually that one. So I am a little bit worried about starting those. I I do I hate mixing the Menopure. So the Puragon is so easy because you just like dial it up. So I'll film doing you know those three injections on day six, and then also I have a my first scan and blood test. It's going to be on day eight because day nine is a Sunday and no blood test place and fertility associates isn't open. So we're going to be doing day eight. So I'll probably film on the Sunday or the Monday. I think that'll be good. And I'll update on how I'm feeling. I do have a slight brew starting to form where the Puragon was, which I'm not sure if because that's the only one in the fridge. So it'll be interesting to see how much I bruise. I was hoping because I was icing I wouldn't, but we shall see so i will see you in the next update thank you so much for everybody's support <laughs> we are just really really excited <laughs> thank you for watching